All right, so now we're ready to talk about LU decomposition. Um, but but before we really get into this, I just want to mention again uh, what I had mentioned earlier uh, about factorization. A factorization or a decomposition is just the same as I said before. We do this in, in regular algebra 12, and we can decompose that into two parts, maybe 3 times 4, or, or whatever. And this is the co idea of a, of a decomposition. And so we do the same thing with matrices, and that's what we're going to do with LU decomposition. And so uh, recall the whole context of this problem is we want to solve the problem AX equals B. Okay? And, and where B is a vector, X is a vector, and, and, and A is a matrix. Okay? So in solving this problem with LU decomposition, the first thing that we do is we factor A out into two parts, L and U. Where L, uh, you, you'll recall uh, perhaps from our discussion uh, on matrices, where L is a lower triangular matrix, meaning again that we have entries, non-zero entries um, below the diagonal and on the diagonal. Okay, so that if that's a 3 by 3, for example, that would be our L, would look something like that, and our U is going to have, uh, again, along the diagonal, and then it'll have non-zero entries here. So this is the sort of structure, L, U, um, uh, is, is a decomposition that we can do on A. Okay. So with LU decomposition, step one is step one is decompose A into LU. Okay. Step two. Uh, compute. Uh, f uh, f I'll just put figure out uh, D and and let me explain that so we go from this matrix AX equals B and and if we want to rewrite this we could say AX minus B equals 0 and uh, then we go uh, what we do is we, we factor an L out of A but we can also factor an L out of B and so we can say L um, U, and I'm going to put parentheses, LUX minus LB, LB, and I'm going to call that D, minus D equals uh, zero. That's because that's just L times U is A, and uh, L times D is B. And so let me just, I can write that as well. L. Uh, D, okay, uh, matrix vector product, and we get B. Okay, so number two is figure out D. And you have to realize when we do that, then we have what we have for D is the, the equation L D equals B. And uh, recall, this is, this is a simple equation to solve relatively. We have B, uh, we have L, and L has this nice lower triangular st structure, and so we can figure out D by doing uh, forward substitution. Forward substitution, because uh, we just have um, well, L L D equals B. So so the first uh, D entry uh, is anyway. So it's this is relatively easy to solve because we just do forward substitution. We have this triangular matrix. It's, it's similar problem. A x equals b, right? We have a matrix. We have a vector, and we have a vector. We have a matrix, a vector, and a vector. And we're trying to figure out this unknown vector. But this is easy to do uh, uh, because this is a triangular structure. So we can just do uh, forward substitution. Now step three. Okay, so we've done that. So let, we do that. So we've got D, uh, and then step three is solve uh, solve for x. We solve for x, and that is what we're the equation we're solving is 
um, see ux minus d equals zero and so u this also means because we could we could we could get rid of this l so this also means ux uh, excuse me that's again undo on that ux equals d okay so we can solve that equation and uh, so uh, ux equals d and we've got d from the previous step and we solve we solve that equation and that again it's easy because that is just a uh, back substitution because of the nice triangular structure of u okay so there we have lu decomposition this is what you do you de decompose a into l and u we got that uh, we figure out d because ld equals b that's the decomposition of B, so we use our same L that we got from this LU, and we solve this equation, LD equals B by forward substitution to get, uh, to, to get D, and then we solve the equation UX equals D, and that's the way we get the X. And so that gives us this very same X that we were looking for in solving this equation AX equals B.